Sorry, um, I have I have another question okay. as well. Um, fuck, what was it? Um, oh, okay. So you said men who tend to stick to one, and this was a while ago. Oh yeah, so they're I'm weak. Rewinding. They're weak, super right? weak. But wouldn't you say that being, I guess, celibate as a man and like resisting like sexual urge would be? No, those persons are like mentally unwell. Like mentally for, unwell. Not, they're, they're mentally unwell. I'll give but you to restrain mean- from sex, I feel like that's very like strong minded. You feel no, like no, that I, right? I, I do feel, feel like, like. it's yeah. an opinion. Go ahead. I'll, I'll give you some clear examples. Um, you ever heard of any scandals within the Catholic Church? Uh, like pedophilia. <laughs> yeah, pedophilia. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you know that the persons who are committing pedophilia, you these are the ones who take a vow of celibacy, right? Oh. Yeah, it's sexual repression. Okay. You look in psychology, even if you look at basic <laughs> folks like Freud, they yeah, note that sexual repression mm-hmm. causes you to act out in bad ways. Yeah. And generally, when you see people who are repressing things that are natural and innate, uh, that doesn't lead it to good outcomes. Well. Right. Okay. And why would you uh, repress something that's not bad? You know, sex is not bad. None no. of us would be here without sex. Mm-hmm. I think it's just like a restraint thing. It's easy for women to speak from that restraint angle because for you guys, you don't have to earn your value. What do you mean by that? You have, in fact, they have more value when they have restraint. Yeah. You know, uh, should I do a can store analogy for Let's the women to understand for this one? one? Time. For the one time. Uh, I, I, it's been a while since I've done this analogy, but this, I think, illustrates um, se- sexual relations between men and women. Because a lot of you guys have an issue with men having multiple girls or understanding what I mean when I say men have to bring more utility than women do. So I'm going to illustrate this little... Um, story, okay? So, there's a candy store, okay? And in this candy store, the men are, the women are allowed at 18 years old, they're allowed to enter this candy store and they can go in and eat as much candy as they want, free of charge, by the way, okay? The men, however, are only allowed to enter the candy store when they're 35 years old, have $100,000, you know, in, been going to the gym and they have some competence, right? So, as you guys could quickly figure out, there's a big ass line of dudes waiting to get into this candy store. Meanwhile, the girls are just walking in, right? So 17 years passes, and then bam, next thing you know, a group of men are finally allowed into this goddamn candy store. They're going crazy. They're swinging on the fucking rafters, eating Tootsie Rolls that girls threw away five years prior. They're eating, you know, all different types of candy, right? Going wild. Meanwhile, the girls have been there 17 years. They kind of figured out which aisles they like, what candy they don't like. They figure out yellow Starburst is disgusting. They don't like Tootsie Rolls, whatever the fuck. But the guys are in there going wild, eating all the candy that the girls didn't eat before. And the girls look at him and like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Why can't you guys like, what the fuck? Why you got to eat every piece of candy? And the guy looks at her and says, it took me forever to get into this fucking candy store. How dare you tell me how many pieces of candy I can eat? And what I mean by that, guys, is that men have to earn their value to be able to enter this candy store and this abundance. Women don't. So it's easy for women to sit there and say, just have restraint. Or I don't fuck. Well, you shouldn't fuck that girl. Or you shouldn't do that. If a man has to bust his ass to be able to gain this value, he's not going to sit there and have one piece of candy. But you guys, I said it before, privilege is invisible to those that have it. So you guys can sit there and say, just be restrained. Have one piece of candy, blah, blah, blah. That's easy for you to say because you guys have had opportunities thrown at you since you were 18. That is what I mean when I say women can't tell men what to do with their dicks because you guys don't have that right to tell a guy that because you haven't earned your value. And also, they don't understand that we're different. I get it. For Talk you, it. Mm-hmm. it seems strange because you would never do that if you love, really love a man. But for us, it's natural. It's just biology. Talk so about yeah. it. Is what it is. Okay. Does that make sense with the restraint thing? No, I understand. Now? Yeah. So that's why when, you know, you know, like no offense like her, right? Uh, I'll be honest with you. You're 18 years old. You're fairly incompetent. You don't know shit about life. But you're over here telling a multimillionaire that's traveled all over the world I have an A in biology as if you are in the same level. You're not. I was and kidding. here's another thing too. No, it wasn't. What I've noticed about women. <laughs> women don't understand hierarchies. See, men Talk clear, about quickly understand the hierarchies. Man walks in a room. He's a multi-manner. That guy's successful. This guy owes a company, blah, blah, blah. We shut the fuck up and listen to what that guy has to say. Because men shut up, understand bitch. hierarchies right away. Women don't, though. And that's fine. You guys judge hierarchies off of looks. Oh, uh, uh, Who's the baddest bitch in this room? You guys crazy. don't give a fuck if Oprah walks in the room because yeah. I'm hotter than her. Who it's cares? Crazy. Right? Women don't judge hierarchies the same way. Men have established hierarchies, which is why men are better when it comes to a lot of different things because we understand this stuff. And there's also, you know, the unspoken violence potential that might come into play, right? right? But I just find it interesting that women are able to do and say certain things and be in certain situations and not understand it. Like some of you guys right here, I'll be honest with y'all, are fucking nobodies. Nobody knows who y'all are, right? 
And you guys are here on a podcast where we got 1 million plus subscribers. We got 20,000 plus people watching, etc. It's a great opportunity for you. Yet, some of the girls here are speaking as if they're in a position of authority. Yeah. I don't care what you got to say. What the fuck? Whose podcast are you on? <laughs> but this is what I mean when I say most women don't respect most men. Mm. Even men that literally, you know, e eclipse them when it comes to status and, uh, you know, notoriety. Mm. But that's the world that we live in where a majority of women don't respect the majority of men. That's the truth. That's facts. If she treats me like this, wow. imagine how she treats a plumber. Imagine wow. how she treats a, a police officer. Yep. Imagine how she treats a regular guy working a blue collar job Obese. that's making the world yeah. run. That's not true. Yeah, that's cap. No. Right, because nothing you say is true. It's true. I, I didn't say that. I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, you tried to. You literally tried to yeah, put my... yourself on his level and say, "I have an A in biology in high school." Literally, because he asked a question <laughs> about biology, and I was like, "I know biology. I had an A in no, biology." No, you know, man. They like you skip. School. So you know more about biology than it's not like I just randomly said that. Than you travel the world. Had many experiences, you know, more than him. No, forgetting it. I wasn't a, asking him school. the question. He was asking me the question. That's chill. But that's what also they propagate in the United States. It's feminism, you know. It's the government who you teach are us a to feminist. be that. I'm not at all. <laughs> I Gentlemen think, like, watching Arabs this podcast, I want to Eastern. warn all of you. The, the most dangerous thing is when a woman thinks she's submissive, but she's not. Because they're fooling you and lying to you. They're telling you that they have what you want. And so they get you to come in, maybe even get you to marry them. Yep. But how could you say that you're, fem you're uh, submissive, wherein you told us that you like a guy to put you on a pedestal? Ooh. If you're submitting, that means the guy is on the pedestal. So that doesn't even logically mm -hmm. make any sense. Yeah, I mean... 